this video we're gonna simulate a campaign process a campaign is a pull process pull process what does it mean like the system does not work unless there is a customer who put an order so it is literally 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 like as if you have an inventory and the inventory will get full filled in with all the items so when the customer he places an order the system would work so you have a constant working process at all time um, this is a constant work in process at all time is specified by the number of campaign card so in this example just let me show you we have the system here I will explain in a second so we have literally 15 products okay so they all been sent to the system at once as all the orders as all the raw materials so you have here to start with okay um, I pause the system for a second so here we have uh, 15 products into the system we have literally nine are waiting at the start of the system they cannot get in into the system and already six trays or cards have been filled in with items as you see here now there is a customer order which is a red dot it's come into the system so I'm gonna slow it down uh, so it will take an item so now this one is free so the card it goes back the card it goes back to get an item in as a step one make it a little bit faster so you could see here it gets an item and this item goes back in as you would see okay all the way down and now there is another customer order it goes into the system as you could see okay so if I make it a little bit faster so and now like after 10 customer order you have you have to remember we start with 15 so there's five remaining in the system they are as finished product and 10 orders has been fulfilled okay now the step two of the system is campaign with two processes as you would see here i'm gonna make it a little bit faster but i have three cuts as step one and three cuts as step two so we have 15 products it's the same scenario so you could see like <coughs> now there is five here and another you could see here three are being filled the second step of the system and already three are being here so let's stop it in a second just to pause the system here the customer order arrives so we have all the system is filled but please pay attention for this so when the customer order arrive one is free here like it pulled an item and then this campaign card it circulates in this space so this one it goes up here you see it in a second as if it remove one item from step one okay to be moved to here to step two so you could see this item is going toward step two and this one is free to get an item from the start and this is how it's supposed to work okay as you could see it here uh, so this is an item and it's waiting for customer order so now if we stop it's waiting for customer order but all the cards are filled so it's the same concept if you make it a little bit fast to see what's happening so you could see the items are rotating as in the system as if you're pulling so the customer is pulling the finished product and the finished product at step two is, pu is pulling from the finished product at step one and is pulling from the product at the start of the system so if you have any question i left my email address in the box below we have in total six cards, two processes, step one and step two. Okay, as you could see here in the system.